Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to be doing a disassembly of a Dell Precision 3260. Let's get to it. All right, so as you can see, we have the Dell Precision 3260. This is a brand new machine. Uh, this is a 12th gen i9, 64 gigs RAM, two terabyte solid state, and I think a T1000 GPU. Really, the disassembly is very easy. Um, we're just gonna spin around the back here, and you're gonna notice there's gonna be one thumb screw right here, and all we have to do is simply remove it, and then it's actually gonna slide towards the front. It's always one thing you gotta worry about or watch for on these. So it's just a simple slide towards the front here. You gotta pick it up and move it up. So this piece slides straight here like this. And then this comes off. There's no screws or anything in here. It's just a simple toolless design. Um, swinging around here on the inside of the machine, um, we have the CPU fan assembly. We have the GPU riser card right here. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the CPU and the heat pipe. So with these, there's gonna be these two tabs here, these two blue tabs. You're gonna pull these and this is gonna let this thing lift off. But first, we have two things we gotta take off. One is this, uh, this fan cable. So you're just gonna route this kind of around through here. And then there's also another one on the back. You're gonna take this cable and move this guy out of these little notches. So it's very simple, didn't, not too complicated here. So um, yeah, really next steps is we're just gonna pinch these two here and it's gonna lift off the heat sink. Now if you see, there's a little keeper right here. This just pulls right off. There's nothing else you have to unscrew or anything. This just pinches. And once this piece is kind of back like this, we're gonna take the fan, the, the four pin fan cable. We're just gonna unhook it right here just like that. And then it is just, you just lift it straight up and it just pops off. You can see there's just a little keeper right there. So nothing too complicated. Um, so yeah, this is the, uh, the inside of the system. Um, again, this is the i9. I don't know if the i9 or i7 or I don't even know if you can get an i3 in this, probably not. Um, but this is a heat sink assembly. Uh, it's a heat pipe design. Um, memory is right here. As soon as you pop that fan off, it's uh, fairly simple to, to remove. You do have this little speaker assembly that you kind of have to work around. Uh, but the good thing, it has this little clip here. These, this little blue clip, you just pinch it and it lifts straight up. And this piece is right here. And that's it, yeah, to get to the RAM, that simple. So as all sewed in, we're just gonna pinch this, take this piece out and pinch this and take this piece out. And these sticks are actually, uh, these are 32 gig sticks here. So this machine has 64 gigs, which is a maximum for this um, for this build. So this is as high as you can go with this. Uh, you can't go any higher. Um, even though you can get an i9, which supports 128, but yeah, regardless. Anyways, so yeah, that's really to get to um, the CPU and to get to the heatsink assembly. Now to, the GPU assembly here, which you also have to take out to get to the solid state, which is kind of packaged in there. Um, there are a few things we got to remove, so let's go ahead and start that process now. So the next steps are gonna be to get a small Phillips screwdriver, and I'm gonna use my little handy set here. Um, and it's very simple, just two kind of small Phillips that we have to remove on this back side first. Um, make sure this is in reverse and just back these out. And there's just two, so nothing too crazy. And is these two on the back side right here? So nothing too n nothing too hard, just those two right there. Now once, it, once those two screws are out, there's gonna be this little tab here that we're actually gonna pull forward and it's gonna release this kind of cage part. And then this is just going to pop right up. Now you do have to keep in mind this is on the baseboard. And then you just kind of got to wiggle it out. So a little bit of a dance, but nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, so this machine has a T1000 GPU in it. Um, this is really a, a kind of odd build. Um, i9 12900K, 64 gig RAM, two terabyte SSD, but with the T1000. Um, the purpose for this is this is going to be uh, the owner's machine, and it's going to be living on a TV. Um, so I wanted to have some dedicated, some dedicated graphics to push the 4K television, um, but also have enough horsepower for whenever he wants to use it. He's not going to encounter any slowness. 
So that's how you get to the GPU assembly, which is also how you get to the M2, uh, the M2 NVMe drive. So this machine has, again, a two terabyte PCI Gen 4 solid state. And just like every um, Gen 2 SSD, there's just one screw here. This is gonna, gonna pop right out. So go ahead and pull this guy out here. And that lets us get to the SSD. There's also one more M.2 slot here, so we can add another NVMe SSD if we wanted to. Um, this is taken up by the, the Wi-Fi uh, antenna, so there is a, um, a half-height M2, uh, a, a third one here, but this one is dedicated for the, um, the Wi-Fi 6 antennas back here. Um, so really, that is about a full disassembly. There's not a whole lot more to do on this machine. Um, if we wanted to go as far as removing the, um, the heatsink assembly, it would just be these three screws here. It would be this one here and this one here and this one here and that's going to let us get this heat pipe assembly off and get to the CPU. Really the only time you'd ever do this is if you were going to change a the thermal paste um, which you know stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to be doing a full review of this machine and it gets toasty. The reverse assembly we're just going to get this guy and screw it down nothing special here. That's in. Memory. It's exact opposite of the removal, just take this piece here, push it down. This next stick, push it down, just make sure the notches line up. This is DDR5, so it's a little bit different than DDR4. So this little blue piece is gonna go right here. Notice this has this little marker right here. This is gonna go right here in this hole. You can kind of tell that there's a little hole right there. So this piece is just gonna sit right here. And then once you get that lined up, um, it just pushes straight down and clips in and we're good to go. Um, so let's do the install of the GPU assembly. Now, I do recommend actually pulling this graphics card out. Um, only thing that's holding it in is the PCI bus, so we're just gonna pull this piece out just because this is a little bit easier to get in without the card. So notice this PCI goes right here, and just keep that in mind as we're placing that down there. And keep in mind, this also goes on top, not on the bottom of this. So you can kind of see this piece goes here. This is gonna sit right on top of it. Um, once it's fully seated, we're just gonna take this guy here, take the GPU and slot him in this little piece, move that piece out. And then this is just gonna slide right in here and clicks in. And then this piece, just flip it back. And then the two screws which are again just two Phillips, nothing, um, nothing special on these. So one screw there, one screw there. So now that piece is locked in. Again, this is just a little easy clip here. Um, CP fan, exact opposite again. Um, this little notch, you're gonna wanna kinda put it around this area here. You can kinda see this. So you just kinda gotta wiggle it right on through here. Um, and once it sits, you can, I wouldn't quite clip it down yet because we still got to put this, uh, the four pin uh, fan connector on here. So again, it just clips right back down in there like that. Um, very simple. And then once that's on, we just get this situated and it will click right into position. Um, a little hard to do it backwards. So once this piece clicks just like that, uh, it is just, you want to route these two cables back, back where they were. So if you are to take off the top panel again, the cables aren't going to get caught. This back one, bottom goes there, top goes there, push them down, and we are pretty much fully reassembled. Um, and to put the top panel back on, we're just going to kind of leave it flat here, and we're going to pick up on this just a little bit, get into the channels. Now these can be a little finicky to get on. They are little particular so once you kind of get it started here what I like to do is I like to kind of set it flat here and make sure that these are all flush and everything and these should pop straight back in here again it is a little finicky so you have to watch watch this another thing to keep in mind is this goes through this back piece it doesn't go on top um, and it comes with a side panel there so once we get this bottom channel in, which it's wanting to fight me a little bit. You also gotta watch the PCI bracket because it is bad about trying to come out. So this piece through here, 
this piece has to stay kind of clipped back here and it slides right on. Um, and then to finish everything up, we're just gonna take the little kind of cable management piece here and then screw in the back of the thumb screw and we are fully reassembled. So yeah, that is the, um, the Precision 3260, kind of a full reassembly and disassembly here. Um, you know, fairly nice compact machine. It's about the size of a Mac Studio. Um, nothing, nothing too big, you know. Uh, this is an iPhone 13. So as you can tell, it's, it's you know, not, not that big a machine. Um, nothing too crazy there. So it's a very compact machine, but it does get hot, um, really hot. So stay tuned for that video on, on that review. And until next time, see you later.